بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه السلام عليكم آه قبل لا نبدا بس تسمح منكم اذا اتم الكح بين فتره وفتره ف آه بس يعني وبنبتدي الحين Good afternoon everyone. My name is Bedr Najib Al Awadi. I'm a 20 year old Emirati who aspires to become a chef. It all started back home when my mom used to bake in the kitchen. I would go to her, whisk in the last ingredient, steal her cake and claim that it was mine. You see, all I wanted to do was to annoy her, but it all backfired and turned into a lifetime passion. I had my first TV interview on Samad Bay TV which was an absolute disaster, I might add. It was live and the blenders exploded, but that's a story for another day. Then came the newspaper features. By then, it all felt like I had won an Oscar. I went online to see how proud everyone was of me, a young Emirati guy with a passion towards cooking, but that was not the case. Hate comments were posted page after page, and with that came the doubt. Did I do something wrong? Did I disobey the norms? I was this close to quitting, but my friend Saleh had so much faith in me and I could not let him down. He said, why not be the person who opens up the doors for the future generations with similar dreams? I might have not achieved so much for my age. Just a couple dozen interviews, two of my own cooking TV shows, collaborating with international brands and being on the cover of the national newspaper. I also represented our UAE culinary team in the Dubai World Hospitality Championship, and we got first place among all Arab countries. I also represented my country in Saudi Arabia and Expo Milano 2015, hosting cooking classes for the public. Since I'm standing in front of you guys today, I would like to talk to all of you about inspiration. How can you inspire others to be innovative, putting in mind that there are certain words that can impact people in a certain way. I recall once sitting in a class with a substitute teacher, and this was back in high school. We were all talking about what did everyone want to major in, and the teacher kept, uh, was uh, in a conversation when, with one of the students. He told him, what do you want to become when you grow up? And the student had no answer. And then the teacher kept lecturing him about how it is important to work hard to get a successful career. And then he asked him, what do you want to major in? And the student said, I don't know. So the teacher got frustrated and told the students, to butts to tabakh. And that translates to, do you want to end up as a cook? Of course, good old me was sitting in the back of the class with a passion for cooking. But I was embarrassed when he said that. I felt ashamed, putting in mind that no one back then knew that I had a, pa a passion towards culinary arts. And this scenario right there did not encourage me to step forward and express my love towards culinary art. I felt ashamed and embarrassed, which brings me to my main point today. Why do we not look at all jobs equally? Whether you're a doctor, a cook, an engineer, or a janitor, at the end of the day, we are all working hard to support our family. Unfortunately, including myself, a lot of us have the mentality where we praise certain jobs and we despise the rest. What is wrong with a job that does not meet the expected standards? If it does not offend any cultures, why not pursue it? I wanted to become a chef, but many did not accept that. They told me, do you want to cook and clean after others? So I had to let that dream go. But I did not quite do that. I am blessed to be living in a country that has developed so much in so little time, which is one of my main in inspirations to achieve so much at such a young age, and that has been a great part of my journey. By day, I'm a business student at Dubai Men's College pursuing my bachelor's degree in accounting. By night, I'm an active person on social media trying to tell people to achieve their dreams and to also let them get up and cook some food for their family. During the weekend, I'm a student at the International Center for Culinary Arts pursuing my professional degree in culinary. Many people might say, especially at my age, you have no life. During the week, you're at university. During the weekend, you're at another university. At night, you're on social media. You're just constantly working. And I tell them, you have to sometimes sacrifice some things and put some priorities in life to finally, when you reach at a certain age, you let out and you give 
uh, out the legacy that you want people to remember you as. Just because I was put in this box of what others wanted me to be did not stop me from pursuing what I really love to do, which is showing my love towards culinary art and teaching people how to cook and bake. I might have not majored in culinary arts at first, but now I am doing two degrees at once, and I cannot be any prouder. I am proud that I did not let my dreams go. I have achieved so much in so little time. I have achieved things that I could have never dreamt of achieving because I was not allowed to dream that big. However, I popped that bubble that I was restrained in, and here I am today. Before leaving, if I want you to remember one, sp one thing from my speech today, it's that you are never too young to start achieving your dreams. You are never too young to achieve your dreams. I am 20 years old, and I tell you all that age is just a number, not a restriction. Thank you.